September 2012 saw the introduction of a new writing site called Bubbles, which was founded by Alvin Dixit and Jason Zuckery. Its aim was to unite writers from around the world and create a community where they could share their lives, photos and stories through their posts. Creators shared events, beliefs and opinions freely. They received one cent for every post viewed, one cent for every like they gave and one cent for every comment. The more connections you had, the more you viewed, the more you commented and the more you earned. And so the site became very popular with many writers focusing on bubbles and leaving writing sites such as Mylot and Treoind. Firm friendships were made through connections as everyone learned about different communities around the globe, how they lived, what they ate, what crops they grew, and how they felt about their lives and the world in general. We were all different and had different opinions, and yet we focused on what united us and not what divided us. If something was posted that we didn't like, we simply moved on and chose not to read what didn't resonate with us. There was no narrative to follow, and we were not penalised for thinking outside the box or for being different. In fact, being different very often earned you a place on featured posts. It was an exciting place to be and a positive place to be. However, the popularity of the site was also its downfall. The more people that joined, the more the spammers and trolls came and Redemptions, which was the cashing out system, fell behind with many believing the site to be a scam and a fraud. Everyone began to doubt, myself included. It took a couple of years, but eventually I did receive all the redemptions that were owed to me, as I'm sure did many others from the site. YouTube acts in a similar way to Bubbles by building a community through sharing, but with restrictions, since creators are not able to express their opinions and information freely if they differ from the YouTube narrative. However, we all crack on with the hope that this will change to include everyone, no matter what their beliefs or opinions, even if they are different from our own or different from the agenda. We remember all the wonderful activists, such as Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They campaigned for freedom for all. They campaigned for everyone to unite and be equal. And they showed us that black, white and brown are just describing words and colours and none of them should be given preference above the other. Likewise on YouTube, a great creator is a great creator and should be recognised for the quality of their work, not for anything else. God, whatever you want to perceive that to be, doesn't prefer anyone and doesn't look to find and point out differences amongst us. We should learn and lead by the example set to us by him. Morgan Freeman is absolutely spot on. We need to stop talking about it. That word, that word that has plagued us for generations, that word that I won't even mention. A very wise man, as well as a great actor. Please stop doing this YouTube. Please stop with this narrative and please stop penalising creators and putting them in the naughty corner and on a naughty list with bands just like in school. Otherwise, many creators will leave. You're better than this. You're not like other social media platforms. Please focus your efforts on eliminating spam comments, bots and trolls instead of punishing creators by trying to divide the community by trying to create discord amongst us, by removing monetization and placing a slow drip for views on creators whose posts you don't like just because their opinions differ from yours. Please be more inclusive and supportive of your creators and community. We need you and you need us. So let's cooperate so we can become the positive, uplifting community that most creators are trying to make it with freedom of speech for all. Please be more like Bubbles was, or bring back Bubbles. <laughs>